Alright, Lions, so a couple of days ago, we did get the last set of the tag team resurrections, that being Ikaku, Toshiro, and Omaida. And in today's video, we're going to check in and see how well do they play now with this new found upgrade. And the first character we're looking at is Tag Team Toshiro. Now, this character, what happened to him is very, very tragic. Because I had high hopes for him, uh, if I'm being honest. Because this character could have received a very good resurrection. And all it took was a few small skills that, unfortunately, he did not get. Because as you can see right here, even being three or four years old, right? His kit is still good to this day. The only bad thing about him, I guess, is it's a free. But then, even then, it's not entirely bad strong attack free. It just could have been better. But the SA2 being a beam forward, SA1 being a lunge. And you can't, that's not too bad, again, for the age of this character. All he needed was a few little upgrades, and he could have been a really good character. And unfortunately, his resurrection did not do that for him. What he picked up instead was an extra 20% Berserker, uh, which is nice, because right now he does have a 40%, since he does have a 20% sad soul trait. Which, again, is nice, because as you can see here, we are somewhat one-shotting enemies with the build that we do have on this character. Only T10, by the way. But the biggest thing you will notice with this character is the range could have definitely been better, right? Imagine if this character had Havoc, because he didn't get it. Instead, he got 20% Berserker, and his second soul trait is 55% freeze duration, which is not the best. <laughs> Special still looks nice, though. And I do want to mention, the Soul Tree that he does have, 20% side and also 55% freeze duration. It, it's a very niche link. I don't see myself really ever using that. But there might be a time in Guild Quest, for example, where I do need to use a link like that. And right now, that's the only link in the game. There's no other Technique character that had strong attack damage plus freeze duration. So I kind of like it. But I would have maybe preferred if they gave that to another character, in my opinion. Because Toshiro, again, is a good character. A character that a lot of people are looking forward to getting, hopefully, a good resurrection. And all he really needed was that extra built-in recharge. So maybe if his second soul trait, instead of being freeze duration, was, you know... 10% recharge, that would have been great. And instead of getting 20% Berserker, which is still nice, don't get me wrong, if he picked up Havoc, this would have been like a, not top 10 character, but like a top 20 technique character, it would have really made him better. Especially with that SA2, because that SA2 is really good. It's one of the best strong attacks in the game that unfortunately no other character really has besides maybe Shinji, for example. The Hollow one that also came out around this time. It's a very good beam, even for an SA2. And with Havoc, it has even more range. But as you can see here, one minute clay time, we weren't really trying to speed run it. It's still respectable. And again, he does have two killers too. That's one of the great things about these tag team characters. And it's very unfortunate that we haven't really had a tag team character since this character. We started to have some double team characters, and we should be getting one next month. But, you know, in terms of new tag teams, it's been a very long time. And these are the last tag team character that we did get. But he does have two good killers. That being sorry, but and a Ronka killer. And that's pretty good. Again, it's really unfortunate that he just didn't get a good resurrection to make him a better character. Or even a better Link. Even though I'm saying I could see myself using his link, it's still very niche and I'm not exactly sure when I might need it. But hey, if the day does come where I need a link like that, I'll be happy to have this character, I guess. But I'm sure for the tag team Toshi fans, they are a tad bit disappointed that he didn't become a better character. Tag team Ikaku is next, and this was, again, another very weird resurrection. So for starters, his link is full stamina damage plus 20%. And a lot of people that I know and myself use this character in Guild Quest and Epic Raids because that's where full stam really does, you know, excel as a link. And I was really hoping he would get a second soul tree that would be useful for normal PvE content, such as, for example, maybe extra strong attack damage. That would be great for epic raids and guild quests. Or if he would get recharge. And recharge and full stamp is still a combo that we don't really get that often. There's only a few characters in the game that do have a soul trait like that. And unfortunately, he picked up a soul trait that a lot of other full stamp characters did get, that being stamina recovery. Which again... <laughs> is nice and it makes perfect sense you know you, you want to be at full stam having that extra just link to keep yourself at full stam it, it, it makes sense it makes sense i get why they did it but at the same time you know you can you can just give a recharge or stamina recovery link i would have pref much preferred full stamina damage plus strong attack damage full stamina damage plus recharge because again we don't have much of those uh but again the, i guess the soul trait is nice if you ever do use this character for i guess cop content or even single player content even senkamon for example that extra bit of stamina recovery it will help you out. It will help you out, especially keeping you at full stamina. Now, as for the character itself, again, a very weird resurrection because he's an SP character, right? And again, he has also the decent kit. Unfortunately, is lacking recharge just like Toshiro, and it really does suck because he does have an SA2 shield. So we can't even infinitely stack this shield because you have to wait a couple of seconds for that SA2 to come back. As you'll see, we have five second downtime for the, the shield to come back, right? Uh, but... 
does have decent range too. I mean, we are actually clearing this content relatively quick. He has good strike attacks too. It's just unfortunately missing some of the, you know, skills that would have made him better. He did pick up 20% Berserker though, which does help out his damage output, especially with that 20% full stand. And the very weird one is that he picked up follow-up, which we I don't think we even get to showcase because he's an SP character. So again, a very, very weird resurrection. Personally, what I would have liked, instead of getting the follow-up skill, it would have been great if you got recharge as a skill because that just would, again, made him a better character because the follow-up is nice. Like, But then again, as an SP character, you're very rarely ever going to see that. Uh, let me actually knock someone on the floor if we can. If we don't kill, we can see if we, we can hit them, right? So we can't even, we can't even, uh, we can't even, like every, oh, there we go. See, I guess it's nice, like, the follow-up is just weird. Follow-up, if you don't know, when you knock an enemy on the floor, you can hit them. Now, there's not that many NAD characters in the game that do have that skill, and it basically is made for NAD characters. SP characters like this that mainly do damage on their strong attacks, there's very rarely going to be a situation where you knock them on the floor and need the follow-up skill. It's kind of pointless on him. It's nice they put it on a resurrectable character. It could mean in the future for a future NAD character. We could get a character with that skill, and that would be great. It would make him better. But for Ikaku's case, it's it's kind of a gimmick. Like, it, you, you, barely, you barely ever notice it. But honestly, it's been a hot minute since I've actually played this character. I'm fairly impressed for the most part. I do have my SP level 10, only that. So he is obviously going to be doing performing a tad bit better compared to someone that hasn't built the character. Uh, now we have to wait a couple seconds, as you can see here. If we had the recharge, we would have saved us up for a few seconds. And now I've been burnt. So I lost my full stamp. But also one train. That's not too bad. And let's just finish this up with the soul bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, kind of forgot that sub bomb. It's kind of mid. <laughs> so, I think it left a bit more to be desired. But that's Tag Team Mikaku again. Resurrection wise, as a link, he's got some better. I guess full stamp and the stamp recovery is nice if you're ever using the carp content. If you're using this link in Epic Raids or in Guild Quest, where I mainly use it, I believe my guildmates do, his link basically hasn't seen a change at all. And for the most part, the character itself, well, has gotten better since he does have follow up and that 20% extra Berserk gun. It's still not enough to make him a better character. If he picked up again Havoc or maybe even Recharge, that would have made him a better character. Alright, so Tactical Mighty is the last character we're talking about, and I saved him last specifically because he's a very weird one. And I said that for basically Ikaku and I maybe even Toshiro too, but in Omida's case, it's weird because he was a character that had Sprinter Plus 2. And unfortunately, his resurrection kind of nerfed him because he doesn't have Sprinter Plus 2 anymore, he has Sprinter Plus 1. So what you see here, instead of having three flash steps like he had in his 6 star version, he now only has two flash steps, which kind of doesn't make sense because he's an Omida. He should be getting those extra bit of flash steps because he's part of the Stealth Force, for example, but it's very weird what they did with him essentially they made him worse and maybe that was an oversight maybe they didn't mean to do that maybe they did but again with resurrection you're supposed to be getting better a lot of the times you don't get better but very rarely do you get worse and in Omida's case in the mobility sense he's gotten worse now other than that what else did he pick up well he picked up last day survival which I guess is nice because remember his soul trait is 30% low stamina damage so let's actually get low and I guess as a character that is going to be always at low stamina or wants to be at low stamina to do more damage having that extra bit of last ditch for example for survivability definitely does sell but it is a bit unfortunate that you have to like kind of store to start a low hp it'd be nice to actually they release an accessory or a skill that would instantly start your low stamina so you can just instantly get the high damage output and for the build that we are using this character we basically go on like a hybrid builds because that's what he's supposed to be he doesn't have frenzy he doesn't have flurry he instead has a 50 percent berserker which show a 20 percent increase of that resurrection and a 40 percent bruiser which again very very weird additionally he was mainly sp orientated but as for his link he picked up 16 percent no attack damage which for himself I guess is nice, but it's mainly just a better link. At the very least, as far as the three cards that we have showcased thus far, he is the best link. Because low stamp and no attack damage is great for many content, mainly epic raids, for example, on your NAD based characters. And this character's kit, not that good. And even though we have some good accessions on this character, again, we have built him to be like a hybrid, you will notice that we are struggling to kill things because that's just how hybrids are. If you never really played with a hybrid, this is why they don't really excel. Honestly, if Caleb want to make a, a good hybrid, you have to give them Frenzy and Flurry. Like, it just has to be like that. Maybe not a Berserker. Maybe they, they want to balance it out. But when characters are basically one-shotting them with a strong attacks, and, you know, Frenzy plus two with 20% full stun Berserker, stuff like that, um, I feel like they could actually balance a, a hybrid. And it'd be kind of fun. Because it would change the way you play the game, in a sense. And unfortunately, this character is just not it. At least his animations are somewhat funny. But I do want to mention one thing that's also worth mentioning, is that this character is actually really, really good in 
Guild Quest, for example. If you don't know, because he does have Bombardment plus one, it does allow him to be a very good nuke for Guild Quest. And he does have Captain Killer with Sorber Killer. So again, he also has two killers like the other two characters. And it allows him, because the support in Guild Quest is so good, you know, that being six anniversary Aizen and maybe Daddy Ichigo, for example, you can actually nuke all five waves with a character like this who only has Bombardment. If you notice other nuking strategies in Guild Quest, it mainly requires a character with Bombardment and Weakening. He doesn't have Weakening, but because the support is so good and the fact that he has Bombardment, it does allow you to nuke through all five waves. And right now, he currently is the best lead for the Captain Weak Guild Quest, which is still crazy to think about because he's a character that came out four or so years ago. Of course, you do have to invest into him. You have to invest in your side lanes and you have to have him max transcended, but it's still cool that he has that usage at the very least. I unfortunately don't have him 5-5, but when he does get a character pack, I will be picking him up to hopefully try and showcase on the channel in a few months' time how well he can nuke in Guild Quest. But with that said, lads, that was the video for today. Just checking out the three new resurrected characters. Uh, again, kind of disappointed overall. The links themselves weren't that great. Again, I might have had a decent link. Toshiro, very, very, very niche link. Not sure when I might ever use that. And again, Ikaku did get a better link, but I would have much preferred if they'd taken a different route with, you know, strong attack damage or even recharge. As characters themselves... Again, not really any notable upgrade to make them a better character. And for the most part, they're basically playing like how they normally did. With that said, though, hope you lads did enjoy the video. Let me know what you lads' opinions are on these three characters of Resurrections. And we'll see you next time. Peace.